All right, everyone, we are back with another off-season war. I actually, when I saw the paths I was going to take, was kind of excited just because I'd get to use uh, Storm here quite a bit. Um, so here, path I'm on path five in both sections. Um, Ebb and Flow knockdown. Pretty easy fight here, especially since we can parry stun really reliably and it convert to a passive stun if Kingpin decides to shrug it. Um, so knocking him down will not be a problem at all. Um, in all honesty, you can retaliate his SB1 with a heavy as you saw there for most champs, as long as you work on the spacing and practice it. So even if he didn't, even if I didn't have that passive stun to work with, I could still just hit him until I get to get him to SB1 and then just retaliate that. Um, still, you'd have to kind of intercept to get most of your openings since this node has heavy hitter and you saw he went down super easy. Um, moving on, Jabari Panther, same thing here. Storm is going to place a passive stun on her if she happens to shrug her um, stun debuff. There is, I think it's either this one or the next one, there is a weird interaction where sometimes the cleanse doesn't even trigger the parry stun. Um, so it's either this one, because I fight two Jabari Panthers. It's either this one or the next one. I parry and nothing happens. Um, and we'll see if I was ready for that or not. Here I am firing SB1. It might have been that. Here I'm firing SB1 just because of power alternator. I don't want to give her too much power, even though her SP2 is the easier of the two specials to dodge and outrange. Um, still, just wanted to use SP1. All right, so if you follow me on Twitter, I was at a wedding, and this was before the ceremony was going to start. So not saying that's an excuse, but I definitely 100% tried to rush this fight by backdraft intercepting in the middle of the field and... Jabari Panther was just not having it. Not at all. She was just not being aggressive about it at all. Um, so it worked out there. Thought we'd be smooth. So we're playing normal, just attacking her. Now it's back on, so now you're going to see me try and backdraft intercept some more. She just intercepts me with the light. And then we're gonna be dumb and try again. Nope, heavy, parry, get wrecked. Maybe we'll try it again after we bait out this SP1. Nope, she just wants to keep throwing heavies. Finally threw it. All right, let's try it in the middle of the field. Nope, so. Should have played that fight like I normally play it. And that's where I don't rush it. So healed up, went ahead and said, all right, let's put her game face on and let's be aggressive and push her back to the wall and only backdraft intercept when she's on the wall. And oftentimes more than not, that right there happens where I just happen to intercept her because the AI gets a little predictable about dashing back and then coming back in. It happens in arena a lot. So as you're gonna see, this fight goes a lot more smooth because I'm just focused on it. <laughs> Zapper with that SP2. And down she goes. So, missed the block there. Woo. Other reason I was excited about this war was Kitty Pride. So, get to test out Silver, Silver Centurion against her on Ebb and Flow Intercept. And I think I screw up once. I do a medium light medium after we're locked on for some burst damage. Even though I don't have that many plasmas, I just kind of play this fight with the flow of battle. I don't try to build up as many plasmas as I can when I'm, and hope that there's enough there when I throw locked on with SV2 that we can pause a lot of them and do a lot of burst damage. But what you're gonna see is that I don't, I don't think I end up with more than three. Um, just because I decide to bait out a special one before pushing her too far to special two, and then the locked on timer getting eat up, so. 
benefit as I talked about before is that I, uh, Silver Centurion doesn't crit, so no prowess from there. As long as we play Stun Immune, then we don't have to worry about any prowess. Um, and therefore, she'll never phase during the fight. Um, you see me use SB1 to refresh that locked on so that we can continue to do some bursts. And I think it's right here. I go medium, light, medium, and then just didn't block. <laughs> so got it up when she threw SB2. Lucky for us. Gonna throw another SB1. Nope, we're gonna end it right there. So a short war for me, didn't take much. As I said, I was at a wedding, so not a bad test run. Thanks for stopping by. Keep your ears or keep your eyes out for the next one.